In this video, we're going to talk about the oscilloscope, the function generator, and the power supply. And that is our main purpose. Hey, Jordan, I bet I can strike these two together faster than you can. Yeah, right. Yeah. But you can't make a spark with it. Oh, I bet I can. Maybe not. You can give a shot. I can do it way faster than you. Let's do that. That's definitely faster, though. I don't think so. I think I got that. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. The oscilloscope. Yeah. So, how do we use it? All right. We'll just use the oscilloscope. This is how it's going to work. Turn on the power of this. Pulse function. Turn on the power of the oscilloscope. All right. Let it load. So, as you can see, we're using a Tektronix 2212. Focus the waves down to what we want. First things first. Check the ground. Make sure it's zeroed out. What we want. Go back to DC. Okay. And now we're gonna go over to here. We're gonna put this on single sweep. Oh, so we want a single sweep for our trigger, so it only reads our one swipe on the metal. Yes. And then we're gonna okay. go here. Turn on the cursor. Yes. Plug in so we can see which one's faster. Which would clearly be me. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's yeah. gonna prove. Yeah. All right. From there, we have to put in. We got a power source. So you put hook a cable up here. Turn on the power. You got it at five volts, so it's able to read. Hook it up to. Oh yeah. Cable here. Our trigger's at zero. Should we set it higher than that? Yeah, we should. Okay. So then we'll just turn the level knob. We'll put it up to. Let's try a two volt. Two volt. That'll work. Because that'll be less than five, so it should read. Alright, got everything hooked up. Ready to go. We gotta turn on the storage so it records our sweep. Sweep. Alright, and the final thing we have to do is put our mode to channel two. Because we have plugged in channel two here. And now we're gonna try. Best of three wins. Alright, ready to go? Yep, good luck. Yeah, you too. You're set, boom. Now you can look so, over here, see what we got. We got it at uh, 10 millisecond intervals. So Looks like you're at about 30. Yeah, that was not a very good one. I think my grandma did one that fast once. Alright, go back to reset. Try her again. Drops down to... Looks like about 10 to me. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move the horizontal positioning of it, just to make sure. A little less yeah. than 10. A little less than 10. I'll say about 9. A little less. Uh, Final shot. Oh, that was slow. That was 20. Alright, you're up. You're up. You're set button for you. Alright. So let's see. Alright, you're three. Here you go. Hit the reset button for you. Alright. Oh. Ooh. Little bigger, a little more. <coughs> yeah, I'd say 12. Go back and hit the reset button. Ooh, I think it takes it right there. That's only two. Let's see what we can get on the third one. Ah, uh, yeah, there's three. Yeah, you were right. You won. Thanks for watching. I am the faster one. My youth still prevails. Well, congratulations, Jordan. I did not. But whatever. Here's what you win. All right. Let's go over the pulse function generator. So we got our frequency here. You can read it. It says frequency. You can change the range and the units of it. Here's our frequency. Move the dial. Make it really slow. Or a very high frequency. Next, you can go to the amplitude. That's pretty cool. Make it really small. Really big. You can read the amplitude by clicking the button. And next, you can choose the kind of wave that you want. What if I wanted to offset my wave? Right here. Move it up. Move it down. Oh, okay. So what if I wanted it to automatically go right back to where it was? Go to AC. Oh, okay. Go here. Crank it down. Here. DC right now. I had to crank down. But AC goes right back to the beginning. All offset is doing when it's at AC is slightly taking off the market. There's your winnings, Jordan. Within our friendly little competition, we used this power supply and we set it to 5 volts and when you set for something 6 volts or lower, 
you turn this knob and use the gauge along the bottom where it has numbers one through seven and the max is about six but it'll go a little over and if you wanted to go to something like 20 volts you would turn this knob from the six volts to the 20 and then you'll read across the top part of this gauge and this is how you vary the voltage of the 20 volts across and you can set it to anywhere between 0 and 20 or 25 if you want to push it to its limits when you're running a 6 volts you'll plug it into here the positive and then the ground will go into this common in the middle and 20 would go into this plus 20 output right there and this is your power switch and this is our power supply